I told you, I told you it was gonna start to happen. That the Dollar Tree was gonna start trickling in with all of the goodies. And I can't wait to show you what I found. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. It is Thursday, which means it is time for a Dollar Tree haul. And I am so excited because I feel like my Dollar Tree hauls have been a little lackluster the past few times. The Dollar Tree was kind of holding out. I think the holidays were coming and they just wanted to create the wow factor when they start releasing some of these really awesome things that I've seen recently. So I wanna show you guys what I found. I found a bunch of cool things, a bunch of new things, some things I haven't seen anybody haul, and a whole bunch of more food goodies. Surprise, surprise. So let me show you what I found this time at the DT. Surprised, right? Candles. I needed to find these ones. This is the last of the three new ones. So they had the autumn apricot. I got that one last time. And then the sea salt and bourbon or caramel no i think it's the sea salt and bourbon or caramel bourbon that one is really good so if you see that one pick it up uh there wasn't such great reviews about the apricot but i tend to disagree i thought it was really good and this one is a mulberry and fig delight and again old williamsburg and my favorite little mason jars and i think this one smells really good it smells it smells fruity. It does smell a little similar to that apricot one, but I happen to like that one. So maybe that's why I like this one. I thought that was really good. Love me, my old Williamsburg candle. Uh, I picked the kids up the, well, Maya picked this out and that was fine. We were out of them anyways, but we picked out the Mickey and the Roadster Racers, the paper cups for the bathroom. I normally have like little cups like reusable cups by the bathroom for them to use when they're brushing their teeth but for whatever reason I find that just I guess from them it having toothpaste in it and you not using like soap and water to rinse it out every time and just the residue something I don't know but I feel like there's always a film on those cups and then dust sticks to them and I feel like every single time the kids brush their teeth, I have to rinse and wash their cup out for them. And really all they're using it for is to rinse with water. So I figured for a dollar to get 36 paper cups, my little kids are still all about Mickey Mouse and my oldest is just gonna have to deal. But um, it's got the Roadster Racers on it and I know my kids are gonna love it. Speaking of my kiddos, I had my husband and my kids with me in the Dollar Tree this time, so I'm surprised I got out with only what I got. But my husband picked out this little mini play pack for her. Uh, she, this is one of the ones she doesn't have, but if you guys have watched any of my Dollar Tree hauls, you know that I pretty much grab one of these every time. You can't beat a dollar for these play packs, and it comes with a coloring book and crayons and a sticker book, and I always just keep them in my diaper bag or the car so when we go anywhere and the kids just need something to do. Even if we're online at the grocery store and it's getting crazy, I whip out one of these and it just gives them something to do. And then I picked up these glow sticks. So my girl, Nicole Burgess, she hauled these, but she got different ones. I think hers were green. I don't remember remember what it was that she had maybe it was a green no I think it's an orange pumpkin maybe a green skeleton and a white ghost I'm not sure but it's two glow bracelets and I thought these would just be good for Halloween to give each one of the kids to wear on their wrist so we can identify them. I know Jake wouldn't want to wear it. I don't even think he's going to go trick-or-treating. I just think he's going to come and walk the kids with us. But then I saw the little emoji glow wand. And you know Jake and his emojis. So I figured if the kids were getting a glow stick, so was Jake. So I know it's fall, but it certainly doesn't feel like fall in South Carolina, so it's wicked hot. And I'm sitting underneath like my giant ceiling fan and it's like blowing my hair everywhere and I keep like, it's like stuck in my mouth. I'm sorry, it's like freaking me out. Uh, I heard there was new nails at the Dollar Tree. So I went looking and I only found one. I actually think it would match what I'm wearing right now. I just noticed that. Uh, it's, it's like red and white and black. It's a lot. I don't know if I would wear a full set of these, but sometimes I grab one like this because maybe I will just use this as an accent nail or something for a set. Like, 
I think that would still look good around Christmas, maybe as a pop of color with green nails or something. I don't know, something fun. It almost looks like a sweater, maybe. But I heard there's more. I'm looking for them. I'm on the hunt for them. So that was the only like bathroom-ish product that I got. But then I found these makeup brushes and I should have gotten more. I'm kicking myself for not getting more. But I got this one from my cousin Ashlyn because she loves mermaids. And it's the mermaid tail little makeup brush, which I thought was really nice. Maybe a blush brush or something. I don't know. That was really cute. I think they're so pretty. Like, isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. And then, all right. What am I, right? I'm the unicorn lover, right? I mean, everybody and their mama always finds stuff. The DT has got unicorns on it, and I never find anything for myself. Everybody always beats me to it, which I guess kind of saves me money, but I can never find anything for me. And then look at what I found. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, how stinking cool is that? Will you focus on that detail? Yes, yes you will. Oh, peep my Dollar Tree nails right there while it's focused. Yeah, I just did my Dollar Tree manicure. Those are gorgeous. Pink for Breast Cancer Month. Mm-hmm. But look, how pretty is that? Love it. Love it. So this one's for me. Mama got herself a little treat. Mm-hmm. That's right. It's Mama's birthday this month. This is my birthday month. I treat Mama all month in October. So speaking of October, it's Breast Cancer Month. And when I saw my girl Madison Pippins haul some of these, and then she showed a bunch in her... And she, she didn't buy any of these. She just showed some in her haul, like up in a little box over here of some of the other kinds that they had. And my aunt is a breast cancer survivor and I try and always fill a little basket with her each year and send her like a little thing that shows her how honored I am to know somebody who's a survivor of breast cancer. So I thought I would get her this one that says, always remember you are braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. And I love that and I think it's so cute. And it's got the little breast cancer ribbon and it's black. And then, um, cute little story. So I made confirmation. I'm Catholic. I made confirmation. And when you make confirmation, you have to choose another name. And I think I might have even mentioned the whole story before, but I chose Hope as my confirmation name, which you're actually not even supposed to do. It has to be a patron saint, saint that you choose a name from. But... I didn't want any and of course I always have to be the one who stands out and says no and I don't want that so my priest told me that I actually had a right to the Pope and to the diocese in Italy and ask permission to use a different name for my confirmation and I asked for hope that's actually part of the Holy Trinity and I thought well it's still a religious name and it's hope for goodness sake that's that's religious, right? And they wrote back and I have a really cool letter that was sent for me from the Pope at that time. I'm so, she's 20 years ago over um, already, but he wrote and said, sure, I mean, that's awesome and thank you for writing and sure you can. So now Hope is like my second middle name in my name due to confirmation. And whenever I see something Hope, I always pick it up. My aunt used to for me, my other aunt, but she passed away. And so now I do it for myself. And I saw this and it says, hope together for breast cancer and it has the ribbon and it's got the faux wood in the back so super cute i love that so rocking the breast cancer stuff and then i got these i fell in love with these i mean they're a dollar and i got a couple for myself and then i had gotten a couple for nicole and then she went and hauled them you know You'd think she'd send us all a message when she finds her wish list items, but you know, that's what happens. We're all in the Dollar Tree. We're all scoping things out for each other that we want, but these things were so stinking cool that how do you not pick them up? And I understand why she was looking for them because they're so stinking cute and do you see them? So they have them in black as well and they have them in the teal color. The teal color I really like for like my room. As you can tell it's kind of my color scheme in my room, um, but I haven't found the teal ones yet, but... I'm not about the black. I like the white. I like the white for so many reasons. So I can't, it's in the plastic and I'm not gonna take it out just yet, but it's just a plain plastic, like fiberglass kind of board back here. And it has the little clip that you can clip on a picture. 
but you can also use that as a dry erase board. I know Nicole said it, she was gonna use it as a menu, but what I thought is, what about like table numbers for a wedding or for a party? I do a lot of catering events and I have big bins of stuff that I use for when I cater events. And even if you weren't gonna use it for table numbers, you can put this next to the food that you're making for a birthday party or whatever and write something or clip the picture on there of it. Um, my husband and I, it's almost our six year wedding anniversary and we did countdown photos that we posted on our social media five days four days and so on but all of our pictures we posed for something you know five of something four of something so I was like ah how cute that would have been like I didn't even think about that I should have used those pictures for our table numbers at the wedding and we could have put the five one you know in here on the fifth I don't know these are really cute and now I ended up with four of them four of them Look at these little Vampirina nail stickers. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love. My daughter loves her some Vampirina. And I cannot wait to put these on her stinking little nails. I'm so excited. She may be Vampirina for Halloween. I'm not sure. We haven't really decided yet, but I think I just may save these for her stocking because I'm kind of all about grabbing things right now and making my shopping easier later because I do a lot of traveling during the holiday time and stuff gets crazy. Uh, I found these things, all these things. They're all these framed art, but it's not like the other framed art. There's other framed art going around right now that's more like these things that are pretty stinking awesome. Nicole just hauled some like ones with cotton stems and all this super farmhouse, super pretty, only a dollar blows my mind uh, but I got this one for her um, and Nicole loves feathers and it's got the farmhouse like white painted frame and this is glass inside and on the bottom it says wild at heart and it's got the purple feathers for her and what I love is that it comes with a really good wire it's like a super super sturdy and it's even like how it's how the wire is attached to the frame is very uh it's not cheap at all um the way that it's put on it's very super sturdy it's got like good diesel screws holding on this wire and this is light so whatever is up there definitely hold this up so i got this one for nicole the wild and free and then I got this one for my girl Vanessa so that she can use this either in her tiny home. I know it's probably not going to be a lot of places for her to hang her stuff, but maybe she can put this away for when she rede redecorates her forever home. But it just says home is where the heart is. And it has the little, I love the little heart coming out of the chimney. Like what? And then still with the hanger. And then this is the one that I got for me and I got two of them one for me and one for Madison and this one says farm sweet farm and I love that it says the farm in the rooster so stinking cute love this so much a dollar and then this is Amber's favorite color so I got her this one that says home sweet home on it and it's that color that she likes so much with the white frame and of course the hanging in the back so all of my girls got one of the new frames and I haven't seen them oh no Amber got some but she didn't get that one because she knew I already got it but I think I might have beat the rest of them to it just a few Halloween things and then the rest is food you guys um I look at this little guy he's so stinking cute I love that like, I love that so much. It's just a little candle holder, but I don't even know what I'm going to do with him. But he's so cute. Like, he, that's beautiful to me. Like, just gorgeously hand-painted. This is pretty sturdy. Uh, there's not even a label on it, so I don't even know where it's from. But it's so cute, and it's a dollar. So, I got it. And then, I get one of these every year. And this, these ones glow in the dark, which I thought was so stinking cute. But they're not the best of quality, but it's a dollar. So I usually pick a new one up every year and just toss it at the end of the year. I get a whole season out of it for a buck. So keep out, yo, keep out. So who knows about my love for Entenmann's? Raise your hand right now, who knows, okay, that I have an addiction to Entenmann's. I've told the story so much about how Entenmann's originated on Long Island. So this is like a home thing for me. And I found Entenmann's hot chocolate little coffee pods. I've never, ever, seen an Entenmann's coffee pod 
and this is three of them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, compatible with my Keurig. Sign me the heck up. I'm all about it. I picked up two. I'm hoping I can find more. Madison actually said she saw them, so I know they're floating around, but I'm going to be grabbing, guys, with the, this hair, I'm going to be grabbing more of them because I actually want to put it in a giveaway for you guys. It was such a huge representation of me. I'm all about my Entenmann's, my coffee pods, my everything, so yes, yes, and yes. Marshmallow stuff. I found marshmallow stuff. So I found the Kraft Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream. My kids have never had this. I don't even know really what yet I'm going to do with it, but I was surprised to find it there, but they've recently discovered how much they... <laughs> what is going on today? Holy cow. Yo. They've recently discovered that they really love marshmallows. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to find something really fun to do with this marshmallow cream because I was excited to find that. And then pumpkin spice marshmallows, you guys. Regular craft Jet Puff pumpkin spice marshmallows. So I'm going to make some pumpkin spice lattes. Vanessa just shared how to make PSLs in her crock pot uh, yesterday. And I think that that's awesome that you can make a pumpkin spice latte at home so i'm gonna make a big crock pot full of pumpkin spice latte and drop my pumpkin spice marshmallows in there but yeah marshmallows today i don't need any more cereal in my life i've been hauling cereal from this dollar tree for i can't even tell you the last few months i've been getting cereal wasted but i wanted to buy the family size because you guys i kept buying cereal and even though the regular size box is great for a dollar everybody is holding up their family size boxes and i'm like thinking i got the best score of the century and they got the same box it's just super size so no I wanted to be able to say I found the family size too. I didn't find the caramel crunch ones. I didn't find any other one. And this was just one lonely one sitting there. But it was like, Kira, take me home. You know you want a family size box. So I took him home. I wanted a family size box. And Pop-Tarts, okay? I had to get Jacob's Pop-Tarts. I keep trying everything. I just bought like three stinking different flavored boxes from Trader Joe's, hot cocoa and pumpkin and all these different ones, no matter what. Okay, I give up guys today. I just, I absolutely, I give up. I give up. Wow. Take two, take two, taking two. Okay, so he is not loving those pop charts no matter what I find. He is either liking the crappiest of crappy or these, he likes these. So these are a dollar. So if he likes them, he's gonna get them. So I got him the ice cream sundae ones, which he's really liked. Matter of fact, not gonna lie, his box is already open. He's already slipped one out of here. It was Pop-Tart day yesterday. He's only allowed Pop-Tarts twice a week. And he was upset, because there was all the ones in the cabinet he does not like. So I had to come up in my Dollar Tree haul and be breaking him out some Pop-Tarts. The kid can eat his Pop-Tarts. And then I found Cookies and Cream, which is his all-time favorite Pop-Tart flavor. So hopefully he likes this guy. But yeah, Pop-Tarts for Jake. Holding on to them, Pop-Tarts for Jake. These are mom's. These are from mom. I love me some cookie butter. I just put on my Instagram last night, I took cookie butter from Trader Joe's and I put it inside of a pie shell. Like I took a little piece of pie, left over from making pot pies, I like trimmed around the edge and I flattened out the dough and I put a little bit of cookie butter in there. I folded it up and I baked it in the oven when I was baking the pot pies and he heated it back up for dessert and put a scoop of cookie butter ice cream on it. What? OMG. So stinking delicious. So been dying to try these and no, I'm not Jake. I don't open the box. Stuff sits in my closet and I wait until I film and then I eat it. So now I'm going to try these and I'm excited because all my girls talk about how good the cookie butter cookies are. So now I can get my cookie butter on. I bought everything in twos, apparently. As I'm grabbing things, I'm like, oh, two of these, oh, two of these, two of these, two of these. I guess it's double the fun, but yes, double the fun. Two boxes of the Pop Weaver six bag of popcorn. So I do get Jake the Skinny Pop non-GMO, the organic kind of popcorn that he can microwave because he only likes really buttery microwave popcorn, and that's the only kind that I can find that's organic that he really likes but it's like $4 for three of them. And when mama can get 12 of them for $2, sorry, sign me up. So they always have the three count bag, but they don't always have the six count bag. So two of the six count bag is what was in my cart. 
like I said, two of everything. And I picked up two of the fudge stripe cookies. And these are the fudgesaurus. I guess they were from, whoa, back when Jurassic Park was coming out. So uh, Madison hauled these and I asked her if they tasted any different. And she said, no, it's literally the exact same cookie. It's just dinosaurus just a different color whatever but probably won't really let my kids eat these but my husband will house them and i'm sure jake will probably sneak a couple where are my progresso breadcrumbs it's killing me and they're really not great and the breadcrumbs from trader joe's i keep forgetting to look for when i'm home in new york they're in a spot i see them Maybe my store doesn't carry them or I'm just not looking in the right spot and I forget every single time I go there to ask and then I come home and I realize I'm out of breadcrumbs and I need it for a recipe. So I picked these ones up for backup but they're 4C. Ugh. 4C has been around forever, so I remember my grandma using these, so I'm definitely super nostalgic looking at the containers, but I've just kind of grew up on Progresso. It's what I've liked, and if I could get the ones from Trader Joe's, I would prefer them if I could just think and remember, but I got the Panko Plain because I get the Sesame Jack jack daniels glaze for sesame jack chicken strips i buy the glaze from fridays and during football season i make a lot of sesame jack chicken strips and they're cooked with panko so i like to keep one of those on hand and that's the plain i don't like the seasons kind so i like to season them myself so i got that one and then this is the regular seasoned with pecorino romano cheese so hey uh, i guess kind of like an italian blend but all right we're gonna go with this for now last few things so like i said i had the whole fam damly with me when we were in the Dollar Tree and Jake begged me for another one of these pasta sides. It's the cheddar and broccoli spiral pasta by Noor. So it's just a quick lunch for him. Over the weekend, it's something he can make himself and I trust him to make that and he doesn't have to bother me for a lunch. So for a dollar, he can have it. And then I picked this up because, whoa, non-GMO sugar in the raw in the Dollar Tree. Okay. Um, Paul loves this stuff. I'm going to throw it in his basket. Oh my goodness. I still have not given Paul his welcome to his new house basket because he wants to wait till he throws a housewarming party and he wants to wait until he's done setting up the house to throw a housewarming party well time's a ticking paul you still have not had your darn party and i got a basket in my closet overflowing with things i've been collecting for you so now i'm just gonna throw this in his housewarming thing and it is the sugar in the raw the turbinado cane sugar he absolutely loves this stuff and it's 25 packets for a dollar so i thought that was great picked it up for the friend and that's it guys that's it from a dollar tree haul Ha, just kidding. You thought I was done, right? No, really, I'm done. I just didn't say goodbye. <laughs> Anyways, I'm like having a day here. I'm old. I've been sitting on the floor. I've been filming a bunch of videos today. I'm cranky, and apparently I got a case of the dropsies. So it's time for me to end this video and go move on with my day. But thank you guys so much for tuning in for another Dollar Tree haul. I am so excited. Next time's Dollar Tree haul, you guys, is extra super special. I don't want to give it away, but I'm doing something really, really fun, like super exciting. I'm actually hoping it's going to cause a chain. I've never seen anybody do it before, like ever. And I'm hoping it's going to start like a chain reaction, like I said, and I, I can't. All right, I'm going to go. Starting a chain reaction. Just stay tuned, okay? It's coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, hit the subscribe button because like I said, a lot on the way. This Dollar Tree haul was all over the place. It's not usually this chaotic, but it's definitely this chatty. So thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.